Okay, welcome to another music review. And this is a, another in my series of uh, videos going through my favourite uh, top 10 from each year from the day uh, that I started, from the year that they started showing a great deal of interest in mu music. That was 1967. And I'm hoping to eventually catch up uh, with the current year. Uh, but this one, as I say, is 1995. Before I dig into that top 10, uh, just a few notable releases that uh, didn't quite make the cut. Um, the uh, second Oasis album, What's the Story, Morning Glory, that uh, is a good album, but it didn't make it for me. Uh, Radiohead, The Benz, their second album, another just fell short. And the debut by Supergrass called I Should Coco, uh, which I thoroughly like. Uh, a Latin album by Stevie Wonder called Conversation Piece. And uh, No Doubt's Tragic Kingdom. Okay, so there are a few others as well. Uh, the Rapture, a very good album by Susie and the Banshees. But I'm going to move on now to the top 10. And at number 10, it's uh, Van Morrison, Days Like This. Now, for those of you who follow my channel and follow these top 10 lists, you'll probably know that virtually every release of Van Morrison ends up in the top 10. So no surprises here. Uh, it's a thoroughly enchanting album once again. And I particularly like You Don't Know Me in Rain Check. And uh, those are the highlighted uh, uh, songs. And I have got at, uh, in the description, there will be uh, links through YouTube to uh, tracks from these 10 albums. Uh, at least one link to a song so you get a little taste of it. So to nine now, and this is Prince, The Gold Experience. Um, you may recall that this also was made into a sort of film. Uh, and uh, It's about the fantasies of a young girl imagining a night out with her dream man. And guess who he was? Um, but anyway, it's a, it's a lovely album. I'm becoming really a great fan of Prince by uh, 1995. And uh, there's two standout tracks on this. Uh, the Most Beautiful Girl in the World, which was a, a huge hit. And the uh, sort of bluesy, uh, hypnotic shh, um, which I have linked below for your pleasure. So to eight, and this is uh, David Bowie, it's Outside. Uh, this album probably uh, not uh, in many David Bowie's fans' top uh, albums, but I find it uh, a, a, a hypnotic uh, uh, release. The, 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 the atmosphere is uh, very, very uh, appealing. And uh, I've uh, linked Hello Space Boy. It is a frantic sort of synth uh rock uh, uh, collage, really, but absolutely fantastic. Now to number seven. And uh, at number seven, uh, I've over the last sort of decade, I suppose, I've become very uh, interested in world music and particularly from Africa. And this is uh, another, Sally Keita, uh, and the album's called Forlorn the Past. Keita is from Mali. He's an albino. Uh, it, it, just to read his uh, uh, life story is uh, a fascinating read. And his music is glorious. Uh, I've highlighted Moonjo, which is a 10-minute piece. Uh, but if you do link on it, please concentrate uh, on the harmony female vocals. They're as good as it gets. Beautiful album. And now to number six. Um, this is King Crimson, Thrax. Um, this is the first album by Fripps Crimson in over a decade. And uh, what a what a tremendous piece of work it is. He he put together for this album uh, Adrian Berlou on guitars, uh, Tony Levin on bass, who'd done a lot of work with Bay Gabriel, uh, and uh, Bill Bruford uh, 
back on drums uh, with Frick and it really is strong stuff. Uh, Dinosaur and Walking on Air is absolutely idyllic and there's a link to that one uh, in the description. So to uh, the number five in this top ten now. This is a band, uh, the Boo Radleys, uh, that I really had never heard of in 1995. I just uh, managed to find this band a handful of years ago and I'm really pleased I did. Um, they're a great pop uh, rock band, uh, deliver lovely songs, well written, well played, interesting stuff. The leader is one Martin Carr. Oh, they've split up now, but Carr is still uh, uh, creating music. But this album, Wake Up, uh, is one of their best. And uh, Wake Up Boo, uh, I would suggest you have a listen to this. They are in the same bag of squeeze, uh, but they've got a lot of uh, Beatles influence in there. Uh, but excellent band. Right, into the top four now. And at number four, uh, this is Blur and The Great Escape. I particularly like this album, following up from uh, Park Life. Uh, and uh, we've got Country House, um, The Charming charming Man, Charmless Man, sorry, and The Universal, that ballad string uh, hit. But the track I put down in the description is Stereotypes. I really love it. It's got a lot of energy, a lot of bubblegum pop uh, excitement, and it's one of Blur's best. So we're getting near the summit now. Uh, at number three, this is the Smashing Pumpkins, uh, sort of grunge rock, uh, arty, uh, ballady music. Pumpkins are, uh, have two sort of styles of a track really the the punky grunge stuff and the delicate ballady stuff and this uh, album in 1995 was a double it's called melancholy and the, uh, the infinite sadness and it's their best work i feel um uh, billy corgan really uh, uh, got his act together here some standout tracks and i've linked tonight the big hit uh in the description so just two to go now. At number two, it's Paul Weller with his album Stanley Road. Um, I think this is his third uh, third solo. Uh, maybe his fourth. I, 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 I stand corrected on that. But basically, it's an absolute tr tremendous piece of work. Um, this is where he really managed to pull together the strong blues rock feel of his band with the more uh, ballady, romantic uh, keyboard style uh, songs. And I, I, the pick of the, the lot is uh, the You Do Something To Me, which I've uh, linked in the description. This is a, a love song uh, about his new wife, uh, D.C. Lee who, of course, was uh, in the Style Council. And so it's now number one, and I've chosen as my number one for 1995, Pulp and Different Class. Um, a wonderful pop album, uh, a wonderful set of songs, two huge six hits, of course, Disco 2000, and the one I've linked below, Common People, but there's a lot more to this album than those two hits. And Jarvis Cocker, uh, watching him in the video the other day on Common People, was just absolutely outstanding. So that's my lot. That's uh, my 1995 best of the top 10. Hope you enjoyed it.